Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Danny. Welcome to the channel. This channel is for all architects, whether you're from, whether you're a freelancer or whether you are from a small company or a big company to kind of give you the AI trends and how to use AI and implement those into your workflow and your company. Uh, today, we're specifically going to see how ChatGPT can help your workflow and how is this is this implemented into your company. So let's go to the table. So here, as you can see, um, here is like a quick table. I just want to see, I just want to tell you first how GP, chat GPT gets um, involved into the design process of architecture. I already put a whole video up there. I do recommend you to see it on the whole, all the tools, like a very quick overview. But right now today, we're going to talk about chat GPT. So the first thing I wanted to say is that chat GPT is great middle ground between that feasibility and research and the pre design, right? Because you start here and then you go to the initial consultation, then you go to the pre design, and then you go to concept design and schematic design, and then you keep going to design development and construction documents. But JGPT is that nice middle ground there between schematic design and feasibility and research. And it's great for concept, but it also can help you with that feasibility and research. And it can also help with the help of other tools. It can really help you enhance that schematic design for an DD of, uh, and, and depending on the research, also construction documents, once you start kind of getting into details and need a little bit more information. But where ChatGPT shines in, in that middle ground between concept design, schematic design, and pretty design. So right there, in, you can call it in the concept design Phase. That's where ChatGPT really shines. And um, the first thing I wanted to talk to you is uh, the alternatives out there for ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is not the only alternative we have, right? You can, and not specifically now, you can do DeepSeek, there's Gemini, there's Llama, there's Grok, there's some other custom, probably own uh, GPTs. There's now, like specifically, image or video generated um, components, uh, companies out there that can generate the prompt by themselves. And that's uh, not exactly ChatGPT, but it takes at least one of the research from ChatGPT that it can help you generate prompts. One of them is look at X, other one is uh, uh, Prom AI and other ones like that. Uh, no, okay, so here are the use cases. So as a general rule, um, these uh, tools really help you with these four main things, which is strategic planning, decision making, content creation, and idea generation, just as overall for companies and businesses. Now we're gonna do, we're just gonna give you a very quick overview of how can we do this for architecture firms or architects. So the first thing where it shines is really the research and analysis, which specifically uh, comes down to code analysis, the summary's data, uh, you know, come up with the latest design trends, uh, exploration, and the deep research. So. Here's an example. So for instance, an example here, it's, uh, I got a letter from a, com a plan to come a letter from one of my projects or the projects that I'm working with uh, about a specific detail that I needed to clarify for a driveway. So what I did is was, uh, I didn't want to spend the 20 minutes going there and going to Google and going to the research tab and trying to find that PDF. So I just went and asked ChatGPT, hey, I need, um, the code detail of these specific uh, sections. So what what ChatGPT gave me I, automatically in just seconds was already kind of what each of these uh, details entailed. And it gave me the best thing, which was um, the resources, right? So it didn't uh, just gave me an overview and a summarization of the answer of what it, this, details entail, but at the same time, give me the research, which is great because I can click on it and it would automatically create a link to open that specific page into my browser, which was great because that only took me five minutes to me, for me to read this, click on the resource and having that specific um, section right there without me having to spend 15 to 20 minutes trying to find the right PDF, the right section, go through two or three websites trying to get the right PDF. So that saved me a lot of time. It did help me with the research. It did help me to kind of be more productive. So that's one case research. Uh, the other one is content creation. And 
even though ChatGPT is mainly for research, it has other components con that come with the license, which are Zora and uh, DALI, along with other custom GPTs that can help you with other types of research that are more, but for specifically architecture, I will say Sora and DALI are the ones that you're gonna use most because you don't have to go all the way now to out to Mid Journey or other ideogram or any other resources, but you can automatically generate images from ChatGPT that is linked to DALI. So you can, here's one of the prompt I gave of what I had, and you can just generate images directly from ChatGPT just because it holds with DALI. Now, the great thing is that ChatGPT also has custom GPTs, so you can go and find other custom ChatGPTs that also are trained on specific aspects that you might be able to tailor that specific image to that are maybe better uh, cases for whatever you're looking for as far as the image goes. So that's uh, another thing there. And then for architecture visualization, it does really help. And does it with ideation, right? So it starts giving you ideas. You can modify the image with some prompts. So that's with the ideation. It gives you a lot of uh, time to really generate ideas, material creation if you need it, like you want, if you're analyzing specific materials. So it's great for that, for the create, create content creation. Then the last one here is the architectural visualization, which again, with the help of, it does, it's amazing to generate prompts with it because as architects, we're very visual. So sometimes we struggle to generate like a whole paragraph, right? That of what specifically we want as far as the architecture, the atmosphere, the foreground, the background, uh, mainly because specifically me, I'm a very visual person. So I'd rather give ChatGPT an image of what I'm looking for or a, spe or a specific aspect and then from there, ChatGPT will break down the, the actual description of what I'm trying to say. And then from there, I can edit the prompt. And after editing the prompt, then I can bring it to the image generator and then it will create an image. And then from there, I can start adjusting. But a great way of ChatGPT is to create prompts, give you nice custom prompts and based on just you writing and can enhance that, or you can give it images and you can create prompts from those images. Um, that's a great tool that it has for architecture visualization, right? And then from there, you can bring those to a stable diffusion or Yendo AI or Prom AI and generate better results from there that are more descriptive towards not just the architecture, but towards the environment. And then lastly, um, again, just kind of resources for that is that ChatGPT, you can make it work as uh, have personas or you can work it out, make it look as a challenger, or you can give it a persona. For instance, for me to generate a prompt, I kind of tell ChatGPT to act, a, act as an experienced architect and designer with skills in photography and prop engineering. You can tell it to act as a planner examiner that is trying to analyze your answer for a planche comment. Uh, so you can give ChatGPT roles, so it really enhances that aspect of that, whether it's photography, planning, uh, design, so you can enhance that. Also, you can have it as a challenger, meaning like you can have like specific design and ask him to challenge you on a specific part of the design or specific idea that you have with other alternatives. And that can help, be have, it could, could be like having someone there having a different perspective and conversation with you. So these are the main things. These are the 20% of the things that will give you 80% of the value on any architecture firm. And I know that there might be an, maybe one or two more user cases where you can actually use in ChatGPT, but this is what will give you 80% of the things out there. Again, this was mainly just dedicated for ChatGPT. Uh, I'm sure all these alternatives might have different components. And I'm sure that once you kind of link ChatGPT to other tools, it might be even greater. But again, it's coming out with your workflow. And today, this was a very quick overview of how ChatGPT can help your workflow in your architecture firm or practice. So for more videos, I'll be posting every Monday. So just stay tuned and pre-subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.